morning lovelies. I wanted to talk a little bit this morning about the QHHT process because a friend of mine, somebody that I've worked with on a number of occasions said to me, it would be a good idea to really, you know, share with people what the QHHT process is. Um, and I have done this before in lots of posts, but I've got lots of new followers. So I'm going to kind of like talk a little bit more about it. Um, I'm sharing some of my secrets at the moment, the secrets to actually getting the very best QHHT session. So I wanted to speak about how that process works and what I've learned over the five years that I've been practicing now. Um, and you know what? The process doesn't start the moment that you walk into my sanctuary studio. The process starts well before that. It basically starts at the point at which you find me. So when you see my videos or you find me on Instagram or Facebook or you're referred to me or you find me on Google, wherever you find me and you start reading about me and QHHT, that is when the process starts. And the secret, my secret and the secret to all uh, work, I believe, is trust and safety. So as a practitioner, I have to make sure that you trust me. I have to make sure that I create a space where you feel that you can trust me. And I also need to create a space where you feel safe, where you feel able to surrender to a really intimate process. You know, hypnosis is very, very intimate and you need to feel safe in order for that process to be as powerful as I know it can be. So aside from the actual day, it starts when we first connect and then we have a consultation call, I always offer a consultation call and that is free, it takes as long as it takes, I get the opportunity to learn about you and you get the opportunity to learn how a day works because QHHT is a whole day, I know right, we work together for a whole day and in that day, there is a lot of trust and a lot of safety needed in order for the session to progress in the way which is at its most powerful. So the day itself is kind of like, it's split into two really. The whole morning we spend just talking. We sit on this lovely comfy sofa here and we talk. And I'll ask you why you're with me, what you want to achieve from a session. I'll ask you about your whole life everything that you've ever been through from your earliest memories through schooling further education jobs and all of the relationships that have been part of that as well it's really really important that you share with me everything about you so that i get the opportunity to make connections between how you're feeling today and what you've been through, you know, we're a product of our parents' parenting and we're a product of all of those experiences that we've ever had. So in order for me to understand who you are today, I need to understand everything that you've been through. And that part of the session takes as long as it takes, no time limits for that. So we talk about your whole life and then we'll talk about the questions that you've brought to the session with you. So everyone is guided towards bringing questions with them question which we are going to ask the subconscious, the higher self, the oversoul, the part of you that knows everything about you. So I always guide my clients to bring questions with them. About halfway through the day we take a little break, you can sit in the garden and have your snack and then we move into the hypnosis phase of the day which does have time limit attached to it because if I kept you under for too long you'd fall asleep which I don't want so normally I work with my clients for about two and a half to three hours in hypnosis which is longer than some QHHT practitioners but I've worked out that through the five years that I've been working with people there's a lot of uh, value that can be achieved from going through the past life and the past memories. So I do like to spend time on that. And then we work with the subconscious, the oversoul, the higher self for about an hour to get the answers to all those questions that you want answers to. The questions that you need answers to in order for you to understand why you feel the way that you do right now. And all of those answers are in here. We know that they're within you. So... The whole of the hypnosis part of the session gets recorded and then you get sent that the day after 
and then the guidance is that you listen to that recording at least three times after we've worked together because you won't remember everything when you come round. You'll think you do, but you won't. Um, it's like dreaming, you know, we forget our dreams when we've woken up. So you get sent that hypnosis recording, you listen to it for at least three days after we've worked together. When you listen, you get more understanding about why you were offered what you were offered when you were under and all the guidance from the subconscious as well. And then, my darlings, you just continue with your life as normal and things start to change. There's shifts. We do a lot of release work in the session. So you release everything that's no longer serving you, get rid of all of that baggage and learn more about yourself. And that is where the healing takes place. That's where everything starts to change in your life. So that is just a really quick, my quickest overview ever of what happens in a QHHT session. I'm gonna pop some extra details in the messages below comments below and then if you have any questions at all my darlings please do reach out dm me whatever is easiest for you and i'll answer whatever i can so i hope you have a lovely day and i'm sending you lots of love as always